Pokemon YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a special video. Today's video, can you make profit from dollar store packs? So let's find out. We have <laughs> a lot of packs here. Actually, we picked all of these up at Family Dollar. And if you go into Family Dollar and you find them and you buy them, typically Family Dollar has a deal where you can get uh, if you spend 25 bucks you get five dollars off so you get some free Pokemon cards so let's see here they're just three card packs we got Nidoran sick art these are all team up packs Rapidash and a Panchim so that's where the gambling comes into play, right? There's no guarantees of a rare or reverse hollow or anything. So I think as far as I'm concerned, I think this, this set has quite a few cards in it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, 22, 23, 24 packs. And I just opened one, so we have 25 total. And again, this video is to just see, is it possible to make profit from dollar store packs which you know i'm sure it is um because i've seen it i haven't actually done it myself because i haven't actually bought any of these packs really so um so i thought it would be a fun thing to try the middle card if we have anything the middle card is going to be the rare so we have an execute we have a nita reno and a reverse hollow alolan executor so we'll put everything off to the side, toss the uh, the decent, oh, I didn't grab sleeves. We will have to be very careful when opening these packs now, since I forgot my sleeves downstairs, but we should be all right. Or did I? I thought I brought them up. Okay, I flip it over, we got a card here. We got a Weedle. Kakuna and a helio heliptile. Helioptile. Admittedly, never got to open Team Up. So this is exciting for me. I started collecting again, I believe I said in Rebel Clash. Um, aside from like base set fossil jungle back in the day, Boltorb, Energy. And a reverse hollow star, you. We could get like one full art. I would say that would be pretty fantastic. But, like I said, these dollar store packs have no guaranteed hits. Code card. That's not actually a code card. Flip it around. Ponyta to go with a Rapidash, Flaffy, and Cosmog. Actually, should keep some of these sealed. But what's the fun in that? No fun in that. Paris. Evelyn and Joltik. Alolan Geodude. Energy and a reverse hollow gold duck. That is an uncommon. It's not going so great for us here. Lolan Grimer, Morgan, Reverse Hollow Mimikyu. So we have pulled quite a few Reverse Hollows. Um, no GXs, EXs. 
No full arts. Vullaby. Hit only. That art is sick, dude. And a Pidgey. Hello, Lingeo, dude. Fire energy and a Starmie. And the Starmie is actually rare. So we'll toss that over there. I wonder if you could weigh these packs. I actually have no idea. I doubt it, but maybe. We have a Star U, a Spiritomb, and a Poochiana. Still got quite a few packs left, too. I'm gonna go back to trying to open it this way. It just doesn't seem to work as good. I just think I stick to my tried and true way. And it just works out, man. We have an Execute. Dragonair, that is a sweet card. And Larvitar. Dragonair art is very nice. So this video should have followed, oops, yes. My first investing video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Meowth, water energy, and a reverse hollow Vullaby. Getting kind of reamed here, running low on a stack. But yeah, man, uh, you know, when it comes to investing, I don't necessarily think that this is the best shot. Although the first video that I uploaded uh, on that series, Staryu, Tentacruel, and Pucciana, um, isn't necessarily great either, as it was still a gamble, even though we did profit overall. Um, and you know, when the, uh, when the grades come back, it will be a, uh, really good profit, ideally, if they come back high enough, which I hope they do. Emolga, far-fetched, and ooh, what is that? Wondrous Labyrinth, that's actually pretty cool. Stadium card. Neat little hollow pattern there. Doubt it's worth anything. Again, I don't know anything about this set really. We're just gonna open it up my weird goofy way. Cause that's the way it goes. So we flip it around, toss it off to the side, grab the middle card, put it in the back, flip it around. We got a Joltik. We got a Golduck. And we got a Rainbow Rare Eevee and Snorlax. Holy shit, dude. Pardon the language, I try to keep it family friendly. I don't have my sleeves, oh my God. Am I a noob? Is this is my first time collecting? Holy cow, dude. Wow. Look at you. Check the centering on it. That's pretty good, holy cow. That's pretty much perfect. There is a little bit of whitening off here to the side, but otherwise, that is pretty perfect. This needs to get into a sleeve ASAP Rocky. Holy cow. I was not expecting that, to be honest. I mean, three packs, you gotta think that the chances of pulling something like that are no bueno. Uh, but that will be going into a submission video for sure. Wow. Mareep, Water Memory, and Vulpix. Dude, I don't even care, man. If we don't get anything else, I don't even care, dude. Holy cow, man. Rainbow Rare, team up out of dollar store packs. Count me in, brother. 
$20 for all 26 packs of these, pretty much. Klefki, Kangaskhan, and a Zib Strika, which is a rare. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think there's supposed to be, what, Charizard Reshiram in here? That would have been the pull of a century, my guy. But that's still pretty sick. Squirtle, that art is nasty cool. Jinx and Banzur. Bro, that just completely turned my whole day around, brother. Holy cow, man. Uh oh. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind, it was just this thing. Wait, no, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Maybe it was. I don't know. We'll see. Paris? Pokemon Communication. And a Hoopa GX. Very nice. So you did not get to go on top of the Snorlax, though, buddy. Snorlax Eevee. That card is adorbs. Actually, insane. Bro, I'm... I'm, I, I can't even, man. Secret rare, man. Dollar store packs. Get at me, brother. Get at me. Joltik. Pupitar. And a Blitzel. That's fine. We have a bunch of both to send in to get more pack breaks. We got a Rainbow Rare Eevee and Snor Snorlax and a Hoopa GX, brother. What else can we get? Pidgeotto, Nidorino, and a Charmander, Derpy Charmander. Hey, I like I like that art. That is a cool card. All right, we have three packs left, family. Three packs. And it was very, I mean, it was already super successful. I don't think we deserve anything else. But if Doth do want to provide, star you. Fairy Charm. And a Reverse Hollow Far Fetched. Doth, provide please. Rainbow Rare, Reshiram, and Charizard. I don't need it. I don't, well, I need it, but I don't deserve it. So, I shall not request. But if you wanted to, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Paris. Heliolisk and a Joltik. Last pack. Last pack. That Gengar and Mimikyu art on the front. If that is an actual card, like I said, I don't know anything about this set. I started after this set, started collecting after this set, so I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. Tentacool, Rapidash, and a Tapu Coco. Hey, these are, this is like a sweet design, dude. I really like these cards. What is that? That's neat. But wow, I need to get this guy in a sleeve ASAP. Holy cow, that is adorable. I'm dying of cuteness. Koopa, get out of here, brother. So we'll have to see, man. And really, it's up to you, you know? Do you think the potential, like, obviously, bro, imagine if we didn't pull this guy, all we would have got was the Hoopa and these cards with this design on it. Again, I'm not so sure what that is. So this is definitely a gamble, right? Three cards in each pack. It's definitely a gamble. And you just have to decide if that's worth it to you or not, right? We talked about that a little bit in the investing 101 video that I uploaded. It kind of depends on what kind of a collector you are, right? There's a there's collectors, there's three different types of Pokemon people, right? It's my cameras goofed up. It is collectors, players, and investors, right? And if you just want to invest, this is a gamble. I mean, it's a gamble either way, but I mean, look what we pulled. If you're looking to collect and invest, maybe it's worth the gamble, right? That's why I like to do pack breaks because I am trying to master set Vivid Voltage. I collect, 
while also investing. Because if I were to get a rainbow rare Pikachu and come back at a high grade and sell it for six, seven, eight hundred bucks, I would sell it and then just buy a new one for the binder uh, at 200 and walk away with a 400 to 500 dollar profit. You know what I mean? So it kind of just depends on who you are, if you think it's worth it. I, today, today, I think it's worth it. Tomorrow, if I tried it again, I probably might not think that, but today, it was worth it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the opening. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below. Tell me if you open dollar store packs and if you've ever had any luck out of it at all. Subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest Pokemon content, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.